Can you use a liquid cooling loop to make soup? Well, in today's video, we're going to find out. Real quick, a quick thanks to Vetru, who sent me a liquid cooling loop for the specific purpose of putting soup in it. Uh, obviously, this is not considered in your warranty. This is totally what you're supposed to use a multimeter for, just letting you know. My, my goal here is to answer a couple questions. Number one, this is canned soup and therefore you technically could eat it straight out of the thing, but it's got a lot of little bits parts. So I'm gonna try to drain off and just do the liquid because if you put in the chunks, the chunks are gonna jam in the tiny little fins that are in the block right there. And so you're not going to be able to cool really anything while also making your soup. I also plan on taste testing this. Hopefully there's nothing really bad in the loop uh, that I'm gonna die from. If I do, well then, um, Great way to go out. First off, I think we should just try it out stock, see what the temperatures we get on Windows, and then we, from there we can, of course, try putting some soup in there, seeing if the soup cooks. We'll go from there. You know, I think that's the ultimate flex, getting something specifically to cook soup in. Oh, by the way, I mentioned this in a live stream, and then like two weeks later, Linus Tech Tips tweeted out that he might do it. Linus, if you do it, I'm giving you a throwdown. Uh, you have a much bigger budget than I am. I expect top tier uh, soup cooking on like a full custom loop because me I'm, i i sadly don't have that budget this is about as about as good of a budget as i have so liquid loop here we've got oh we've got our argb fans yeah we'll be cooking soup in style guys oh yeah it, i almost slightly feel bad that we're going to be doing this to such a nice thing i'm hopefully hoping i can save it and wash it out and then um have something actually that i can use for one of these computers back here sweet we've got a little thing to Open this up. Warranty void if removed. Well, guys, um, see if we can peel out the sticker and keep the warranty, guys. It's not like they know I'm planning on doing this, but oh yeah, I'll let you know. I'll email them and see if I can get um, a refund for putting soup in there. I was told that this could cook soup. By who? Um, myself. But so it's time for thermal paste application time, guys. Put a little bit on the the top. This is totally how you're supposed to apply thermal paste, but you know what? It's all good. Just, you know, spread this around and such. Bob Ross with uh, the painting, you know. Create, we create some trees, guys. Welcome to the Bob Ross on uh, thermal pastes. I'm sure Bob Ross would approve, guys. So today we're gonna make a tree on the pad of the thermal paste, guys. Just put some verge level thermal paste all over the place, guys. Once you've applied thermal paste to the level of the verge, then you take your um, thermal paste application and you start making some trees, guys. So uh, first off, you just want to like push it out to each side. We're making a big old Christmas tree, guys. Okay, I think we're making a shrub, guys. We're making a shrub, a, th a thermal paste shrub. But I'm pretty sure Bob Ross would still be proud, okay? Add some texture in, guys, to make it look a little bit more uh, like a bush. And voila, you've got a bush, um, which also just looks like a fat uh, thermal paste mess. Probably what you're supposed to use to apply a cooler, guys. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Take my multimeter probes again. That's what you totally use a multimeter for. And uh, let's just jump the connection here. I should probably get a mouse. I need the graphics card in here, guys. So for the sake of today's video, I'm going to take the fans off just so that... Um, it's going to be rather difficult to hear me, so I just want to make sure that audio quality is top-notch, you know? Okay, so first off, let's just do a simple test to see how much our, what temperature our CPU gets up to before we put in the soup. Okay, let's check our temperatures. We're up to 80C already. Holy crap. Oh, I figured out what the problem is. I didn't have the pump on. That'd be important. Watch the temperature drops. Temperature drops like a rock. Um, now I've got to crack open the warranty, figure out how to get the soup into this without a funnel, then figure out how to get the soup out. So I'm gonna shut this down and let's see if we can figure this out. So um, I probably will end up eating this for breakfast. So that's gonna be great. Cause as much as you guys like to think still, I don't actually let stuff go to waste. 
So we got the bowl to collect. This is from like when I was three, so don't mind that. So what do we want to put in here? We don't want any noodles. It's not going to work if we put in anything else. We know it's going to happen. It's going to clog up. If it's just distilled water, it's probably fine. Yeah, this probably isn't a well, really well thought through idea, but I th hopefully, does it say what it is? Well guys, you might as well subscribe because I think this is my last video, guys. Uh, we'll drink a small amount, how about that? Okay, let's first pour out all the liquid. Okay, so we've got a soup. We've got the liquid. Um, it's only logical that we do a taste test before and after. Obviously, we're going to have a lot more water in the stuff that we pull out of the loop than we are here. Uh, but we can give it the, the taste test, everybody. So, uh, um, tastes like chicken noodle soup. Now I've got to figure out how to get this in here. So right here, we have the, the, the open into the reservoir. Let's, let's dump a little bit out. Pour a little bit in. It's going to take a while until I have this all poured in. Um, and make a mess. Let me get paper towels. It's gonna smell like chicken noodle soup for three months now. I wish I had a, here, I should probably use a spoon, right? Spoon be a little bit more accurate, maybe not. Oh yeah, guys. <laughs> well, I lost the top, that's great. And what does that mean? Oh, I mean, I lost the piece of the cap that's supposed to hold this on. So I gotta hold this whenever we turn this on. I'm, I'm so smart, guys. So yeah, so now we're just gonna wait for this to um, boot up. Uh, I've emptied the entire thing full of this into the reservoir. This probably was not a smart idea. I probably should ask what was in the loop. Hopefully it's water. Not like antifreeze or uh... At least be tasty on the way out. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I realized. I, I'm, someday, someday is going to be my last video. Hope that, I hope at least my last wish is that whenever it's my last video, they publish whatever's left. Like my family, they publish whatever's left. Cause I, I promise you that if I go out because of a video, it's going to be a banger. <laughs> Hopefully it's not this one. I have a few other ones I want to get done first. <laughs> Honestly, I would be... Uh, I better hold this because it's spilling everywhere. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to... Um, I'll find out that it doesn't make any difference whatsoever. Because I think all that's in there is just fat and water. Which, I don't know, it probably doesn't mix. So it's probably going to get stuck somewhere. So I wouldn't be surprised if temperatures are a little bit higher. Um, I do have the pump on this time. So I'm not that dumb. I'm just regular dumb. Okay, so we're up to, this is with the pump on, guys. Um, well, this is up to 50C. We'll see how high it goes. Oh, baby. It's hot. It's stiff, too. Hopefully it doesn't explode in my face. I guess it's time to eat the soup, guys. Okay, it's time to pour out the stuff that's in the loop and uh, give it a taste. It's like, um, I don't know how to say it. It's like, it literally looks like, well, it looks like pee to be honest with you. Um, it's just like water. Well, duh. I wonder how it tastes. I guess that's what y'all are here for, right? To figure out the taste test. I mean, it smells like Fine. Yeah, I'm gonna have to clean this out if I wanna actually keep this. But I think, I think that's just water, but it's got like a, it's got a taste to it. It's got like a metal taste to it. It's got like the faint chicken noodle soup taste. I've got a mess to clean up. Well, what happens if you cook it in the loop? Well, if you cook the stuff like 
the, the, the noodles and stuff float in there, you're going to get it clogged and then you're not going to actually have a, um, yeah, you're, you're not, you're not going to be able to cool anything because, well, quite simply, it's just going to be clogged up. Um, you see the little fins on like the, basically the, heat, the block right here is not going to work. Um, this is much more doable. You can at least heat up some of the stuff and then use it up the heat up liquid to cook. Uh, is the taste worth it? I'd say no. Uh, but make sure you subscribe for the uh, next installment of whatever Jay decides to stupidly do. Have a wonderful day. And if it's not a wonderful day, make it one. Goodbye.